Hello, GED students. Welcome to your personalized path learning adventure. My name is Kate Redman. I'm going to be your instructor for this journey. And I've had the pleasure of working with thousands of struggling students over the years as a high school teacher, as a tutor to adults with disabilities, and now teaching GED prep. And I gotta tell you, I've learned a lot of lessons about learning along the way. Let's talk about a few of those. We'll call them my five facts about learning. Fact number one, everyone can learn. Unless you're completely brain dead, you are capable of learning. The brain is really, really plastic, meaning it can adapt and change and improve dramatically. You know what that means? There's no such thing as math people. There's simply people whose skills are more or less developed than others. Fact number two, many adults need to learn to learn. Even after years of school, a lot of adults don't understand how they learn. By learning to learn effectively, struggling students can shift to successful learners. Fact three, struggling students need extra tools and support. There's a lot of myths out there about certain struggles or certain disabilities making it impossible to learn certain things. It's not true. However, it does mean that those learners might need some extra tools, some extra support. I've seen this in my own personal life with my disabilities, and I've seen it with thousands of students with all kinds of struggles from learning disabilities to educational trauma to a complete lack of schooling. Four, your attitude about learning can change. And in fact, they can change dramatically with you as an adult now. So I'm an example of this myself. I hated school as a teenager. I didn't do well at all. And the last thing I wanted was to go to college and have four more years of that kind of torture, I thought. But years later, when I went back to school to be a teacher, I wanted to be there in college. I had a very different attitude. And because of that, I had a much more positive learning experience. And I hear similar stories from students a lot. Number five, I know this is going to be my hard sell, but I argue that no one hates math. Really. It's not math that people hate. It's feeling stupid. It's that feeling that we can get in math class when we don't understand. And I have seen it again and again. When we find a way that makes sense to a student, when they finally understand the math, I hear it. Kate, I never thought it could happen, but math is so fun. Well, enough about me. Let's talk about you and your learning journey. The book you're holding is a different type of GED prep, a personalized path learning adventure. It's super adaptable, so it can meet the needs of all kinds of learners, from a complete beginner to an advanced GED student who's preparing for college. Plus, it has a ton of extra supports for struggling learners, but it does not work like a traditional math book. Instead of moving front to back, page by page, you're going to be flipping around this book based on your needs. So everyone's going to complete the same lessons, but not at the same level. So here's how that works. You'll start each new lesson with a think about it section. A lot of students just want to skip over this. Like, can I just get straight to the good stuff? But our brain learns by making connections. We also learn better when we're curious. And so this has been specially designed to get you really thinking about new information, relating it to stuff you already know, so that when you do learn, it will be easier to learn the new material and you'll remember it better and longer. After you finish the Think About It section, it's time to check out the virtual class video. So you'll either scan that QR code up at the top, or you can use the link you see that there in blue. You can type that URL straight into your web browser, and you'll get to that virtual class video, and you'll watch that. And as you watch that, take notes in that guided notes section. That's going to help you to record what's most important to remember from the lesson. In every virtual class video, you're going to find that there's three levels of examples, beginning level examples, experience level examples, and advanced level examples. Now, guys, you don't need them all. If you go to the video description underneath the video, you're going to be able to use the timestamps or the key moments to flip to the examples that apply to you at your level.
In order to do that, look down at that video description, click on more. That will open up the full description. Now use the timestamps, the moments feature, or the walkthroughs to skip ahead to the examples that apply to you. So I'm gonna have you practice. I'll wait. No, really do it. Let's practice. Well, unless you want to spend the next five minutes watching me scroll through my phone.
you've watched your example problems, the last step in the lesson is this, did you get it quiz? It doesn't matter how little or how many of these questions you can get correct. It just helps you determine which practice level you're at. At the bottom of that, did you get it quiz? There'll be this choose your learning path box. And that's which level you should practice at. You're going to see these four levels of math ability, beginning level, experienced, and advanced level. If you're lost or struggling quite a bit, you'll turn to math ability to get the extra support you need. Pretty sure you've got it, at least mostly. <laughs> beginning level is for you. There you'll focus on the new skill long enough to remember it. Was the lesson a bit easy? Have you already learned the basic concept? So you're ready to kick it up a notch? Then you should try experience level practice. Was the lesson way too easy? Have you seen this concept already in a lot of different ways? Or maybe you're prepping for college. Advanced is designed for already skilled students to up their game. But listen, guys, this is important. Different learners have different needs. Don't try to just skip ahead thinking, oh, I'll be ready for the GED faster or try to cram to do all three levels. Trying to hit a higher level practice before you're ready is like jumping on the freeway before you even know how to change lanes. It's going to go too fast for your comfort. Now for the practice. This is the most important part of the book. It takes practice to create strong neural pathways in the brain so that you actually remember what you've learned. You're going to notice that every practice level has a QR code and link at the top of the page. On the MathAbility video, that code links to a guided practice video, like tutoring. You and I are going to work one-on-one -on -one through this activity. You're not meant to do it alone. But the goal is that we get you prepped so that you can then move on to the beginning level practice and complete that independently. The three levels of independent practice, beginning, experience, and advanced have a QR code as well, but that one leads to a YouTube playlist of select solution videos. You only need these videos if you get stuck. They're not mandatory, but if you can't figure out how I got a solution or you're just not even sure where to start, you can use the videos. And you're going to notice there in the title of the video, it says what number it is at the end. So that first one there is number six of the beginning level practice. After you complete your level of practice, make sure you use the box at the bottom of the page that will tell you what page to turn to next and where to find your solutions. And by the way, guys, use your solutions. Use them all the time. It is not cheating to check the answers. Shoot, check the answer after every single problem. doesn't help you any to practice something wrong 30 times. So you're going to progress through the book in this manner, flipping back and forth using those boxes until you get to this final thing, a fork in the road. This section is going to help you determine what your next steps are. Some of you are going to be GED ready at the end of this book. Some of you are going to want to go back through the book and complete it at a higher level of practice. And some of you are going to want to continue to skill build by moving on to another personalized path learning adventure. The fork in the road is here to help you make the best choice for your needs. So yes, this is a lot of flipping around and page turning, I admit it. And that's why we've included that bookmark. Use it to mark the page at the end of each one of your study sessions and to track your progress. All right, you guys, enough listening to me. Go do that. Did you get it quiz at the end of this lesson page and start following your boxes around. Happy learning.